Hi guys, welcome to Beauty by Carly channel. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Today I have a video on brushes, as the title says, it's brushes, brushes, brushes. Um, a lady, Maima, has asked what sort of brushes a beginner can buy or can use while applying makeup. However, let me just go back to something different. When you're cooking, when you're working in different work environment, you need tools to cook, you need tools to complete whatever task you're doing. Same applied to makeup. You need tools and makeup brushes are your tools. So you need to invest into makeup brushes. But I'm not saying you need to break the bank. A reasonable price. So I can, what I can recommend for people who just started makeup you don't need to have numbers of brushes now you only need few i'll start with the foundation brush for a foundation brush you need something dense and for a brush you apply your brush and you can use a beauty blender if you like but for me i prefer to use a morphe m439 brush for my foundation or something like BH Cosmetics um, is a dense brush, it's similar like this but this is still a Morphe. So BH Cosmetics has a dense brush as well for your foundation and you only need one of these brushes for your foundation so if you like putting on makeup better invest in a good quality one or two foundation brush and for me Morphe is actually the best because I, I spent a lot on buying Sigma, Sigma brushes and to be honest guys it's not worth the money mm, that's me was a hundred plus dollars for a set of brush was not that great so Morphe has affordable brushes and for same for foundation you can go with Morphe or Real Techniques and this brush is amazing, amazing. For applying your foundation you can get the real techniques on um, online or Priceline Priceline they're double the price these things I don't know why we are struggling with paying double for everything but Priceline you can get the um, real techniques brushes and this one is best for foundation or powder Going to powder, you can use this one for your powder or you can use the e.l.f. powder brush and this one you can get it online, eBay, yeah. And it's good for your for your powder, I can't really recommend this for your foundation, it's just too soft for your foundation. So moving on to blushes, this one here. And this is a BH Cosmetic, I just love the way it applies, it's just, it's it has this angle on it and it just goes so nicely for my blush and I love it and yeah it's only a few dollars from BH Cosmetics for your um, blush so I'm moving to the eyes yes 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 the eyes you need good eye brush makeup for you to create flawless eye look Anyways, for your blending brush, you need two sort of blending brush and they look the same but they can be the same, no problem with that, but you definitely need two. One is for you to apply your transition color, always use a fluffy brush to apply your transition color as I showed on my previous video. You will need something like a fluffy brush like this go in there and apply a transition color see that see how I'm applying my transition color easy don't use any force just use that as a transition color one brush the other brush if you want to apply a darker shade um, eyeshadow you can you can dab it on your other darker shade for example 
if you want to move from lighter shade to a darker shade you don't have to use the same brush use another one dab it and go on your crease and apply it and once you've applied go back to the transition color brush and blend everything together so this transition brush is for you to blend everything together you're not supposed to mix this brush with other products you also need a flat brush like this to apply product on your lid don't use any fluffy brush brush to apply a product on your lid so something like this i hope you can see it So in the middle of filming, I had to leave everything and I had to rush somewhere. So yeah, that's why I have different hair, different outfits, but we're going to continue. Anyways, I'll, as I was saying, sort of brushes that you need, blushes. And for the highlight, to highlight my cheekbone, I tend to use this one or this one. It depends how much product you want on your cheek. You can use this one and it will give you still the same results or you can use this one and it will give you the same results but what I normally do after using those brushes I normally go with my powder brush and blend everything everything together beauty blender yeah, yeah it's beauty blender you need beauty blender to blend your under eye concealer and you can use this beauty blender to blend your cream contouring as well you need this as I find it it's helpful for me and I normally use it when it's wet not wet maybe damp wet so I have control of it just to blend everything together and when it's wet your product sink in your skin perfectly so you need that and you need this sort of little sponge this is not even a beauty blender this is a sponge that I got from um, mm, I can't remember the name but you can get this everywhere in anyway, Kmart whatever everywhere and this one you can get them at Kmart as well two dollars for a pack and you use it to just pack your powder under your eye and once you're done packing your powder under your eye use your brush to brush everything off so I normally store my beauty blender in this container that I got from two dollar shop and for your lash application there's different type of tweezers it depends which one you're comfortable with you can use this one I got this one from Colette and it's five dollars and I got this from two dollar shop I can't remember how much but they both do the work of putting your lashes on and yeah it depends which one you're comfortable with Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and I'll see you in my next video. If you have any video suggestion, just comment down below and I'll be glad to do so. Yeah, and sorry for the outfit chain and everything. Yeah. And the other side, lift it up a little bit and boom.